So I wanted to use this time just to talk about the expectations and style guide for Canvas for Elementary. And what you're seeing on the screen right now is what I think most of you are familiar with seeing. It's our original Canvas expectations. And I wanted to point it out because this, the page you're going to see and what's linked in the Canvas course, it's different. And it might at first seem a little overwhelming, but ultimately what this expectation and style guide is, is a checklist of reminders of things to keep in mind when you're adding content, material, um, setting up your courses and your, subje or your subjects. Um, the must do and can do's don't change. So when we talk about the must do, it's updating your teacher account settings, it's the course navigation and ensuring that you're following what our recommendations are just for that consistency and coherence throughout the district. Um, so I will show you on, a, on the updated expectations what we want or what's required for the course navigation. Um, we want you to use at least one Canvas course. Once again, it can be that great communicative tool for families. Um, I like sharing my experience as a substitute last year. I taught kindergarten, um, I think I, I subbed a third grade, a second grade, and it was so helpful as a sub when there was actually a Canvas course that had some of the materials there that I could quickly access and use. I mean, I actually had moments where I felt like I was teaching students, because no joke, kindergarten is hard. Bless you all kindergarten teachers. But anyway, um, I went off a little off track, but ultimately the must do is using a Canvas course and having a Canvas course homepage. Beyond that, your can do's are you can use the content pages, you can do the assessments, you can use modules to really start using Canvas to more of its ability to support you with your students and families and especially um, establishing a blended learning environment. So once again, this is what we've originally shared with you where we in red put down the must do's because ultimately having at least one Canvas course published with a homepage with that required information so parents had quick access. Now with the updated Canvas expectation and style guide, it looks like a lot more and all we did was take this information and fit it to where it makes the most sense in the Canvas for Elementary setup. So like with your homeroom course, like some of that information that we had listed for your home page um, can now kind of be spread out. So like teacher contact information you don't have to have on every home page of each subject. That can really lie into the resources section um, and add it under important information, which might sound a little foreign right now. Those are things I go deeper into as you go learn more about the Canvas for Elementary setup. But there's a way to put some of that information that we originally required on a home page in different aspects of the Canvas for Elementary that make it more accessible and easier for parents to remember where it's at. And then your home pages for your subjects can actually be more tailored to the specific subject at hand. But so don't let this updated Canvas expectation and style, style guide scare you. Ultimately, it is taking the original requirements because those requirements haven't technically changed and it's just putting them into more appropriate places. And when we say what's the requirement for Canvas for Elementary, it's at least having one subject published with a home page that has information for parents. So if you choose not to use the homeroom view, that is an option, you would then want to make sure your Canvas homepage or your subject homepage has that information for, parent, for parents to have access to when needed. Um, when it comes to the navigation for your subjects, the only thing that's required is that home page. Everything else is optional. And in fact, if you, we actually do recommend that you hide the grades if you don't use Canvas to provide that feedback um, or if you're not using the Canvas assignments or quizzes because that could get confusing. But if you keep grades visible for students and families, you'll want to be very specific about what information is there so that they know that every assignment or grade is represented in this grade area of Canvas. But take some time just to look through this expectation and style guide. I think if at first glance it might seem like, whoa, a lot, there's a lot of new expectations. Those haven't changed. I mean, bottom line, you just need to have a published course with a home page. And now with the Canvas for Elementary, that course would be a subject. But I think as you learn more about Canvas for Elementary, you're going to see that the, these features and elements that are now available, it just makes things a lot more easy 
and user-friendly for our elementary students and families. So take a look, review it. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to send them my way.